Hello everyone, TJ here. It's Sunday afternoon here in Alabama, and Joey Logano has just won at Pocono. Dale Earnhardt Jr. had an awkward interview, and we are going to play Grid. I haven't played this on the computer yet, so bear with me. I mean, it's pretty obvious how to play a racing game. Arrow keys. Got to find a few chains. Just give me a second. Alright, it's C. Ooh. Ouch. Okay, so this game right here came out in 2007, developed by Codemasters. It's a pretty awesome game. Alright, E-brake is spacebar. Got a nice little in-car view here. Uh, I can't get my wheels to work on my computer. It's pretty upsetting, so I'm just having to save up for a new one before I'm able to get back onto high racing. So got to save up for that one. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Didn't mean to do that. Just a couple of corners to go. Don't do anything stupid. Sorry, ready to die. Whoa, you oh. just got the win. That's a bumper. Alright. So there goes the first one. Oh, how is everyone doing? Ugh. Finishing the qualifier in San Francisco has earned you a rookie license in all three regions. It's a good start, but higher licenses won't come so easy, and we need them to start earning real money. Huh. You can earn higher licenses by increasing your reputation. All right, so self-explanatory. You can race in America, Europe, or Japan, and... Hello, Thomas. Yeah. I'm your new business manager. I'll take care of the money, you take care of the driving. This garage isn't much, but it'll become your second home. I've got a great deal on a car for you, but it's going to need some work before you can race it. We're going to need about 80 grand. You'll be driving for other teams at first. Win some races for them, and we'll have enough cash to start our own team. I've invested a lot in you. <clears throat> Don't let me down. Nice looking car. Driving for other teams is a great way to earn money quickly. You get a fixed amount for each race, plus bonuses for exceeding expectations. Problem is, it doesn't help increase your reputation as much as racing for your own team. Alright, so we'll start off with Hudson Tech. Do that one. This screen allows you to set the difficulty level for each event. You won that other one too easily, so let's do Savage. The first race race was three miles long. Oh. We're driving for Hudson Tech. This team is looking for a top five finish. There's a bonus in it for us if you can do that. Yes. The top five finish in this race will earn you the bonus objective. So we'll spin off the start. Yeah, the environments in this game, ow, are pretty cool. It looks great on this. It definitely looks better than the 360 version. Oh no! 
no, he spun out. Got the course. Yeah, the AI will wipe out on their own. Ouch! Didn't mean to do that. Oh no! Ugh. Dang it. Now we're back in 10. Dang it. Steering is messed up now along with my front right tire. If you look down there where the... the tachometer is, you can tell. It'll give you a little heads up on what's wrong with the car, what you've messed up. Come on. Are you kidding me? You okay, kid? That looks like a write-off to me. You've got three options in this kind of situation. One, you can retire from the race, but that's not going to do your reputation or your bank balance much good. Two, you can restart the race and do it all again. Or three, you can try that last stretch again, only this time without crashing. Just select the point in the replay that you want to resume from, and hit the flashback button. I guess I just turned in too sharp. Wow, my door is open. Alright, we'll start from here. Yeah, these touring cars are heavy damage races. Oh, there goes. Wipe out again. Kid, that corner. There goes another one. Are you kidding me? This is embarrassing. Only I've ever driven this bad in this game. Engine, suspension, what is going on with me? Come on, move. No, not second, not second. Uh. Oh my gosh.